Thank you. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Good evening. This is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. I'm going to wait for a few people to jump on. I wanted to say thank you so very, very, very much to Andrea Craven from Happy Dog Happy Home LLC. So today, um, I've been here at the rescue house since 7 a.m. I think it's like 5.30. And it's been a wonderful, beautiful day with all of the rescues. I have Shelly and Keith here. I have Kathy. Um, I'm sorry, I have Colleen. And I had Christy here today. It's been a great day. We had an adoption. We had a puppy uh, Cubby from a previous adopter who adopted our Lucky, now Max. Um, our wonderful Canella, sweet Canella, went home to her foster to adopt today. Thank you, Zoe. And I was receiving some packages today, and I wanted to say thank you so very, very much to this wonderful woman with a, a heart, my God. Um, it started out, I was opening boxes. There were two boxes, and it's called happydoghappyhome.com. Dear Amy, Carol, Tiffany, and the entire 100 plus team, I live in greater Philadelphia area and started following your rescue on Facebook a little while before you rescued Patterson. As so many others, I'd followed Patterson's story on a daily basis, glued to my phone so that I could hear every update, and I hoped and prayed for a miracle. I never met him yet. He had a profound impact on me, and I sobbed when he passed away. From that moment on, I became a 100-plus groupie. Have continued to follow your mission and donate funds when I can. I'm continuously in awe of all you do for the beautiful, sweet dogs who have been let down by humanity. Your team gives me hope that there is still good in this world and the decent human beings do still exist. Six years ago, I started my own business called Happy Dog, Happy Home. I design and manufacture home furnishings for dogs and their people. A few months ago, I decided to close my business and return to my previous career in the industry I had been in for over a decade. I thought you might be able to use some items I have left in inventory. So I shipped two boxes to you. One of them contains small blankets, a few crepe pads that can be used on the floors in your rescue house, and a few bone-shaped pillows for your medium to large-sized dogs. The second box contains more crepe pads. I made every item myself. So each one is made with love. I hope the dogs enjoy them. Again, thank you for all you do for the dogs you rescue. I don't know how you do it. What you see every day is heartbreaking, yet you continue on your mission and you are my heroes. With much love and gratitude for all of you. Andrea Craven, owner, design, happy dog, happy home, LLC. Um, I opened up the boxes. Guys, I have the goosebumps as I'm reading all of this to you. Can you imagine how this feels to myself and my team? I have these wonderful bones. They are so plush and thick right here. Uh, the box is endless. There's three thick bones, shape bones. Um, all of these blanket crate pads, they're beautiful and soft. Look at this. All of these she made. One, two, three, four. Look at all these beautiful crate pads. Um, we can put them down on the floors for the dogs to just sit on. And each one is just more beautiful than the next. So all of this was donated by this wonderful, wonderful woman who supports us. And after reading this letter um, that came from her heart, has touched our hearts so very much. So thank you, Andrea Craven, all the way from Philadelphia, greater Philadelphia area. We are so very grateful for you your love and support. And it's really funny how you say that we, we have given you hope and, and in humanity um, because of our mission and what we do on a daily basis. And it's truly because of people just like yourself, Andrea, that you restore our faith in humanity. So thank you so very much from our hearts to yours. Um, it is just so very sweet and we are so very grateful. I wanted to take a moment to say a special thank you to you. Um, and also to, you can come by, Colleen, 
And also, there are a few other people that I would like to thank. On top of Andrea, we have received boxes. by Colleen. Thank you for everything today. Um, we have received boxes of food, much-needed food donations. Um, we have Merrick. We have Waruva. Hold on a second here. We were literally like out of wet food, and I was going to have to go purchase, which takes away from our dogs, vetting and things like that. But this is all Waruva. Um, we have some Neutro up top, and um, we have some Merrick. So we are really good. I mean, we go through wet food like crazy. Uh, we also feed all of our fosters that are in homes. So we thank you. We still have space. <laughs> if anybody would like to donate some wet food, we're really great on dry. We don't need any dry food. Um, but wet food always is needed because, like I said, we go through it like mad. So thank you. I would like to say this is huge. Um, Susan, all the way, Susan from Singapore, Susan Ho, she, she's so distraught. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Susan is so distraught because she can't stand the sight of Gage and Godiva not having a comfortable leather couch like we have given all of our dogs. Unfortunately and sadly, Gage has chewed up and destroyed our beautiful sectional. We have tried to put another leather couch in there, and he has chewed and shredded it. Um, and Susan purchased and had this sent to us. It is a twin-size bed. Um, it's beautiful. It's unbelievable, really overwhelming, the support. And Gage tried to destroy it within seconds. We tried twice. Um, so unfortunately, he can't have things like this. Gage can't have things like this in his room not being monitored. Um, it's just a waste. It would be tossed in the garbage, and I don't want that to happen. So, Susan, we love you, and we thank you. We've got to find out, find something else. The chairs are working. There's tons of blankets on them. I know we want more for them. Um, we spoil our dogs beyond spoil, obviously, but um, we'll have to figure something out. Like, this is how our room is set up here at our rescue house with beds and beds and stairs and couches and blankets and toys. Um, this would be shredded. Every piece in here would be shredded if it was him. So everybody, I just wanted to take a moment and to say thank you to all of you that take time and time again, send donations, whether it's food, whether it's goods, whether it's money, to allow us to continue our mission. Because honestly, I'm not kidding when I say we would not be able to do this without all of you. Um, it does. It's, it's horrible, Leanne. It bothers us too. Um, we also had a woman stop by today and dropped off this I didn't even get her name. I was not here. But a container. I stepped out for five minutes and I missed her. Um, he's still too much of a puppy, exactly. Uh, this basket of toys and harnesses and bowls. So, guys, we're so blessed in so many ways. And I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to each and every one of you. Uh, this is Amy with 100 Plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida, saying thank you to all of our wonderful supporters, day in and day out. Everybody, Carnell is great, mm -hmm. Yvette. It worked. Go look at the video. She's in a foster to adopt. I, I just have a great feeling in my gut. She's not coming back. Everybody say a prayer that Canel stays. It's perfection. It is perfection. And thank you, Zoe, for bringing her all the way up to Stewart today. We have an amazing team, amazing village. That means you, our supporters, and our team that work day in and day out. God is great, Maria. Amen to that. Everyone enjoy your night. I am going home. Um, I will not be back tonight. I have fill-ins for me tonight because I've been here since 7 a.m. Shelly and Keith are here till about 8. And then I have uh, Darla, Laura coming in tonight um, to do the late night. So I will be back tomorrow. So enjoy your evening. This is Amy signing off. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Saying thank you.